We previously calculated that the sine of 75 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4, and the sine of 15 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 over 4. So this is now equal to the square root of 6 squared minus the square root of 2 squared over 4 squared which is equal to 6 minus 2 over 16, and that is equal to 4 over 16, which is equal to 1 over 4. But did we have to know sines of 75 degrees and of 15 degrees to calculate this? Well, no we didn't, and for that purpose we'll derive the formula for the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. And where did we see this before? Well, we saw it in formulas for cosines of alpha minus beta and alpha plus beta. If we add these two expressions, then the sine of alpha times the sine of beta will cancel out, and we get that the cosine of alpha minus beta plus the cosine of alpha plus beta is equal to 2 times the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta. Which means that the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta is equal to 1 half of the cosine of alpha minus beta plus the cosine of alpha plus beta. But if instead of adding these expressions, we subtract the second from the first, then the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta will cancel out, so we get that the cosine of alpha minus beta minus the cosine of alpha plus beta is equal to 2 times the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. but that means that the sine of alpha times the sine of beta is equal to one half of this. So the sine of alpha times the sine of beta is equal to one half of the cosine of alpha minus beta minus the cosine of alpha plus beta and the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta is equal to one half of the cosine of alpha minus beta plus the cosine of alpha plus beta. If we go back to our initial problem and use the formula we just obtained, we get that the sine of 75 degrees times the sine of 15 degrees is equal to one half of the cosine of 75 degrees minus 15 degrees minus the cosine of 75 degrees plus 15 degrees. And that is equal to one half of the cosine of 60 degrees minus the cosine of 90 degrees. But we know what are the cosine of 60 degrees and the cosine of 90 degrees. So this is equal to one half of one half minus zero, which is equal to one over four. And note that this way we only need to know the cosine of 60 degrees and the cosine of 90 degrees. We started with a problem of how to calculate the sine of 75 degrees times the sine of 15 degrees. Then we recalled that the sine of 75 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4, and the sine of 15 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 over 4. After multiplying, we got that the product is 1 over 4. However, we didn't have to know the values of the sine of 75 degrees and the sine of 15 degrees. 
using the formulas for the cosine of alpha minus beta and the cosine of alpha plus beta and adding them or subtracting them, we got the formulas for the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta and the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. And using the formula for the sine of alpha times the sine of beta in our initial problem, we showed another way to calculate the product of sines of 75 degrees and of 15 degrees. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What is the formula for the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.